Hey, Dr. Perper here. I'm um, going to do a two part series on my generator and generator in my home. Um, this is going to be part one. I'm going to show you my um, propane natural gas petroleum gas generator. So, the little, uh, the little thing right there. There is what runs the propane and natural gas. Um, I hooked it up to, I bought this kit online and I'll put the link to where I got it. And you hook it up to your carburetor. It's pretty, really, really simple to do. I'm a, I'm totally not a mechanic and I was able to do it. So if I can do it, anyone can. But uh, I'm gonna fire this baby up and show you how it works. Hold on. On and then you prime it. Prime it right here. Okay, now that the wind's calmed down some, man, it was blowing really hard for a second. I wanted to show you a little more about this uh, conversion kit. Uh, right here, if you can see, this is what you put in. You add this in between the uh, uh, the uh, filter, okay? It goes in between the filter. I'm sorry, this is the carburetor. It's right here. Right there, you add that little piece right there. And uh, so it's pre-carburetor. So, um, and it sends, if you can see this pipe right here, this, let me move this out of the way, there we go. Okay, this hose right here goes in, there's a little valve right there, drops down into this guy, and that, you know, shoots the gas into the carburetor, and then it runs, you know, into the intake. Um, <clears throat> So that's how that works. Uh, this this mean this meaningless, you know, this choke. It's only good for the gas. So, but if you cut the, if you, you can still run this on on gas. So, but you know, I keep the gas off. Um, I don't like to run the gas at all. So, tank's empty. Uh, propane. Uh, it's about the same price, but it's so much cleaner, and, and I think I get more hours out of the propane. I haven't really quite figured it out yet but uh it does run cleaner it keeps your um, engine cleaner and uh, everything else so propane's the the way to go natural gas is real good too it runs real smooth with natural gas and it smells way better than than gas so anyway so this that that hose comes around to this guy up in here okay and this i adjusted this earlier and this is just an adjustment valve and it, it you know you turn it but you give it a little more a little less okay and then back here let's see if I can get this right right there if you can see that 
is the primer. You pump that primer a couple times when when you haven't ran it. Once you run it, you don't need to prime it, but um, if you disconnect it and haven't run it and it's all dried up in there, you just pump it a couple times and boom, and this thing fires right up. Um, so then, you know, you got the, the hose that's running to the propane tank over there. The good thing about this thing is it's, it's completely easy. You know, you uh, uh, mechanic guys out there, you're probably looking at this going, yep, that's, that would be easy to do, and it really is easy to do. I, all I had to do is drill a couple holes in here to, to mount this guy. Um, I didn't have any problems with this coming out because it's, it's a good, you know, couple inches, that little spacer right there. So, but it didn't come out too far and it didn't interfere here. Um, some of you guys, if you decide to do this, you may have to cut this because this uh, filter will come out too far and you won't be able to get it by here. So, you know, some of them are over here, but um, it tells you that in the instructions that you may have to cut this bar. And they even give you little covers for it. Um, the kit's really complete. It has everything in it you need. So um, This is not uh, an electric start, but I, I never use electric start. I always use the pull. A couple of pulls and this thing starts right up. Batteries always die and it's a pain in the ass. So it's a good little generator. I got this at Lowe's. Um, it's a 6200 watt with a 9750 starting uh, wattage. Uh, it's a great generator. It runs all kinds of stuff. I have no problem running just about anything in my house. So. But that's it. I just wanted to give you a better rundown. I was going to do it, but it got super windy as I was filming the uh, What videos. you're looking at right here is my, um, my power transfer kit. And I'm going to hook this kit up to my power so that uh, seven of my rooms in my, or I'm sorry, six of my rooms in my house will be powered by the generator and I'll flip the switches on and off as I need them in the house. So what you do is you crank up that generator, uh, plug that baby into um, this transfer kit and it uh, takes over for the grid power when it goes down. So uh, you need one of these legally um, to, especially in this crummy state, in order to uh, run a generator through, um, it's not through the grid, but into your house without, you know, getting sued or whatever. There's a whole story on that, but the point is, is that this is very convenient. And once I get this installed, I'm working on it right now, and I'll show you some of the installation. Um, once I get this installed, um, I'll just plug right into that. Uh, let's see if you can see this. I'll plug right into that. It'll be outside my wall of my house. And it'll run, like I said, uh, six circuits in my house. So, But let me show you a little bit about what, what I've done. So hold on, I'll be right back. We'll, we'll walk over there. Okay, I'm back. Uh, here's uh, my installation. That's the uh, the actual power transfer switch. And I'll be taking this off so I can get seven of them. And uh, cut the big old hole in the wall. I had to do it this way because back here you can see the wires coming down. Those are my electrical wires going into my box. And then back here, if you can see, Right there is the power lines coming from the the power company that go into your box off of your roof. So I was going to put it right there, but I can't because of that mess right there. So I had to come over to this section right here, and I'll end up installing it in there and flush it, flush mount it onto my wall, and then uh, put the drywall back up, and uh, probably going to get a little wooden box, maybe a little cabinet to shroud it. If I don't do that, I'll leave it open and just put some uh, border around the outside. But I'll show you when I'm done. I'm not, I haven't decided which way I'm going to go with that. Um, so I got some work to do. I've been working on it all day just getting the uh, the uh, sheetrock off. So, But that's step one. Once I get uh, that sucker mounted in there, I'll drop the wires down behind that uh, where the wires are going down into the box. You can kind of see them right there. Get a little closer. There's the wires that are currently running through the house. And there's a 
there's a nice hole in the box. I'm going to drop it right down. It's about two feet down right there. I'll drop it down into my flush mounted uh, box outside. And this has to be indoors. Uh, we get some horrendous heat here, heat here in the summer. So I have to mount this inside and it's above my cabinets. You can see my cabinet right there. Um, close to the ceiling. So uh, when you come into my kitchen you won't be able to see it. So it'll be fine. It'll look good. My wife wanted to make sure that it didn't look funky, so I got to do a good job. <laughs> but like I said, I'm going to probably shroud it in a, uh, you know, like maybe a medicine cabinet type box, a wooden box where I can shut the door and you just, there's just this box up there. But I haven't decided yet, depending on if I can find one that'll fit or whatever. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, you'll see it at the end of the project, but... Uh, that's it. I'm, this is the first time I've ever done something like this. I'm not a um, carpenter. Um, I'm an IT guy, so I'm starting to get into stuff like this. And, uh, you know, thanks to prepping, it's got me doing things I've never done before. And uh, I hope it turns out well. But uh, when it gets done, I, I'll uh, as we go along, maybe I'll show a little snippets of, of the progress. And uh, at the end... Um, I'll hook the generator up and we'll we'll cut the power to the house and we'll give it a shot So so you all can see how this thing works um, Part two will be coming up when I get uh, a little more Done to this area and then uh, And we'll see how it goes. So anyway, dr. Pepper out. God bless you all and Merry Christmas